que parte de 540, Livorno parte de 545, Napoli parte de 625. Ma porta la terza classe? No, sì, che porta la terza classe? Che dici? Non porta la terza classe? Scusa, signora. Il treno va per Napoli, porta la terza. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Che dice? Look, Mr. Alberto, there's one at 7 o'clock. Oh, yes, I see. Please, when does the next train leave for Milan? Milano? There's one in 20 minutes at 7. Then could you tell me what train I could take from Milan to Paris? Why not take the 8.30 that goes straight through to Paris? No, no, I'll take the one at 7. Where do I buy a ticket? Window 5. Thank you. Yes, sir. The first train for Genoa, please. 7.30. Thank you very much. Thank you. Forbes, is my sister there? My sister, Signora Stevens. She's out? Then let me speak to my nephew, please. Train from the sky, arriving at Train from the sky, arriving at Hello? Paul, this is Aunt Mary. I need your help, dear. Get down one of my suitcases, the largest one, and have the maid put all the things she can into it. I'm at the station. I'm leaving. No, no, nothing's happened, but I... I have to catch the plane home from Paris. I'll telephone your mother as soon as I get there. But do hurry, Paul. Take a taxi. No, no, just, just the one bag. They can send all my other things on later. Oh, and, and, and bring my fur coat, too, dear. But do be quick. I'm catching the 7 o'clock to Milan, and I'll be looking for you. All right, then. Hurry, dear. Permette, signora. Eh, scusi, signora. Pardonnez-moi, madame. Excuse me. The pen. Thank you. Friendly day, 7 p.m. Meet our station. Blessings, Papa, Mama. Leave our blessings. 
My love, a few minutes ago, I stopped in front of your door. I knew that beyond that door there waited for me a happiness I have never known. But I could not take those last steps toward you. For my will has become your will, if you were near. And it would have meant that I gave up everything, forever. My love for you has made me forget my conscience, my husband. Even my child seems far away. They are real. And how can I forget them forever? My dearest, forgive me. And know that I always love you. Signora? Do you speak English? No. Signora? May I see that peasant dress in the window, please? Fermo, basta. The little Sicilian dress. Which size, please? I don't know how your sizes run here. My daughter is seven years old, but she's tall for her age. Thin. Is there a wide hem? Si, si. She grows so fast, I'm afraid. Oh, I, I suppose it'll be all right. Would you wrap it up for me quickly, please? How much is it? Eight thousand, please. Which way to the Milan train?
Permesso, c'è posto? No, no, Permesso. Permesso, c'è posto? Ma che hai posto? Permesso. Libero? Libero? Permesso. Signorina. Io ci devo rimettere il vestito. Ma che devo fare? Devo ammazzarli. Cosa da fare? Va, lascialo stare, che è più piccolo, non lo vedi. Non si sente bene. Lascialo stare. Vabbè, Ma non è che mettere. Avete sentito il signore prima di non marchiare. Ma signora, mi meraviglio di te che sei il più grande, invece di aiutarti. Ma ti te la c'ho qua. Sta buono. Sì. Mi permesso? Mi permesso? Cosa vuoi? Io sento tanto. your sister's house, I wouldn't have known. Here. Well, I don't want to read what that says. Why couldn't you have told me? Hey! 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 Thank you for all you are, dear. Give your mother a kiss for me. And a kiss for you, too, dear. I love you very much. What happened? Is something the matter with Uncle Howard? No, no, everything, everyone's fine. I thought you were staying on. I counted on seeing so many things with you. You'd better run along now, Paul. The train will be leaving in just a moment. Shall I put your bag on the train? No, thank you, darling. I, I, the porter will take care of it. I think Yolanda remembered everything you might need. I put the toys in you bought for Kathy. And another clock for Uncle Howard. Thank you, dear. Now run along. Goodbye, Aunt Mary. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, Paul. Goodbye, darling. Signori in carrozza. Signori in carrozza. Credi, Tini. Signori in carrozza. Well, Maria. It doesn't seem to be very much time, does it? Bye. Good trip. It's 
been wonderful for me, anyway. Can't. I can't leave you like this. No. Don't be sorry for me, Marie. I must take the 8.30 for Paris. All right. As you wish. A band? Mountain band? A band? A lot. Let's go someplace where we can sit down a while. I can see you're not going to help me. I may be wrong, but if, if, I, if I understand you, I'm the one who's entitled to help. You start to leave Rome after these weeks, this month, after yesterday. Oh, don't you remember yesterday? What did you tell me then? That I loved you. More than? More than all the world. More than all the world. And? Anyone in it. But that was cruel of me. Because it wasn't true, was it? You had a ticket for it and you had it in your pocket. No! What am I? to you suddenly, some, an old guidebook that you don't really want anymore? Don't really want? Then you don't know what wanting is. Oh, don't I? A month ago, just about, I watched you coming down as many steps. I liked your legs. I wouldn't have looked at you, maybe, if it hadn't been for those legs. You stopped at the flower stall, bought a bunch of roses. Carnation. I didn't. I was so excited. I'm so happy when you said to me, 
Scusi, signor, dov'è l'American Express? I thought you were in Italian. Because my mother comes from America doesn't make me less Italian. In this country, it's the men who count. You American women are much too emancipated. If I weren't emancipated, well, would I have done what I did that day? Let you ask me to a cafe and, and buy me a coffee. Several coffees. Three hours. Why did you come with me? <laughs> well, why did you ask me? Because when I saw you, I knew what warning was. But you haven't answered my question. Why did you go with me? <laughs> you didn't look very wicked. I'm not an imaginative woman. I, I'd never done anything extraordinary except that. Letting you, well, pick me up. It was you. It was Rome, and, and I'm a housewife from Philadelphia. But I, I only thought it would be a small adventure, something I, I could even tell my sister or write my husband. A small adventure, I see. And darling, don't mock me. When you do, you, you don't sound at all like my beau ideal. What's beau ideal? When I was a girl in school, we all had our beau's idea. Mine was a boy called Percy Tuttle. And you think I look like you, Mr. Tuttle? <laughs> Percy was so handsome. Oh, he was so... I'm not? Mm. Mm. You'll do it. <laughs> when you smile. You're my boy, dear. But I'm grown up now. Last night I... I lay awake thinking. I thought about... dying. Yes, I thought about that too. Then I thought of... Kathy, I tried to remember her face. I, I could remember her hair, her sweet little neck, most of all her eyes. But it was all in separate pieces, like my puzzle I couldn't put together. Giovanni, but she's so young. She's grown so fast. She's... She's so gawky. She's got braces on her teeth. She's afraid of the dark. She's a child, my own, and, and I can't give her up. Dear, in all the times we've talked about it, in all the decisions that we've made, have I ever suggested you should give up Kathy? You know I want her to be with us. You know I want us to be together. You, E, Kathy. That's fine for everyone. You don't love him. He phoned me last night. He sounded... What you find? He sounded so vulnerable, so... so lost. So like a small boy in the dark, calling over and over, where are you? Where are you? When are you coming home? And I felt as though he knew that I'd been lying to him, stealing the days from him one by one. He knows. A man knows when he's losing a woman. A woman is like another heart inside a man. He knows when that heart stops. 
but I can feel it beating. Giovanni, you, you can't live with a man eight years and bear his child and, and share his ambitions. You can't do that without caring what happens to him. That it's him or me, isn't it? No, no. Because whatever you th think about it now, it, I, I won't have destroyed your life. But you're young, darling. Much younger than Howard. And, and there's everything before you. But I am Howard's future. Kathy and I. Kathy almost died when she was born, and, and Howard swore, and I swore, really swore, that if she lived, she would always have her father, her mother, her home. How can I forget that promise? Howard never has, never would. And he's so good to us. He can't say no. It was enough for him merely to think that I, I wanted to come to Rome to see my sister. I didn't have to say anything. He guessed it and insisted I make the trip. I knew how lonely he would be and helpless. He can't even find his heart. Oh, stop. I'm sorry. I, I just don't want to hear any more about the lovable husband who doesn't know where his socks are. What are you supposed to do? Spend the rest of your life finding them? If you want to put it that way. Excuse me, but you'll have to go elsewhere. We don't open until 8. Now can't we just wait here until you do open? I'm sorry, but I don't make the rules. that hat. Why? Well, I'll take it off. That's a smug little hat. I was starting to hate you. Starting to hate everything you said. But I can't. You are so quite beautiful. Your hair. You really... Oh, let's get out of here. It's too crowded, huh? There isn't anywhere to go. Why don't we go to my place? We could, we could light a fire. It's quiet there. We can talk. You're so young. Sometimes I think you lie about your age. We're not saints, darling. At least I'm not. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not a saint, Giovanni. But if I went to your apartment, there never would be a train for Buone? Cognac? Sì, due cognac. Francesi. Bene. Maria, 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 Maria. I'd figured things so differently. They've offered me that job at the University of Pisa, where my father taught. Well, I figured you and I would live at Marina di Pisa, in the house where I was born. Well, you'd like that house. It looks out over the sea. And I'd teach Kathy how to sail. First, I'm afraid you'd have to teach her to swim. We could buy her an Asino. Asino? Yeah, a donkey. <laughs> what would such a little girl do with a huge Asino? <laughs> well, I don't mean a huge Asino. I mean... Little one. <laughs> like the kind that come from Sardinia. <laughs> but very strong. He could pull her around in a car. You think she'd like that? Mm, she would. I can't lie to you. It isn't paradise. I'm not a rich man. 
I mean, we, we have to pump our own water from the well. And every time there's a... Every time it thunders, the electricity goes off. But I like candlelight. When the wind blows from Africa, it's very hot. It gets on your nerves. Everybody quarrels. You and I'd probably have a lot of quarrels. Would we, darling? Why? Well, same reason my mother and father quarrel. But I thought they'd been so happy. They were. They were very. Except he was an Italian and he behaved like one. He liked to lead his own life. So he'd go off in the evening and he'd go to a cafe and play cards. Well, mother thought he ought to be home with her. Well, so do I. I. I mean... I wouldn't like it if you went off every evening and left me to... What? Mend my clothes and cook dinner for me? You wouldn't like that? Oh, I would. Don't forget, I'm an Italian, too. If you didn't behave yourself, I'd beat you. No. <laughs> Giovanni, you wouldn't. Would you? I would. Naturally. Don't start worrying about that now. I'm not going to go off playing cards. Not tonight. Santa, come on, let's get out of here. We'll go to my place. Why don't we walk? We'll be cold when we get there. We can light a fire, we have supper. At least for a little while, we'll have known what it could have been like. Oh. Quante è qua? Riesci? Fare cambiare? No. Eh, va bene così. You don't want to go. Four cups of tea. Two hundred forty lire, please. Yes, that's right. What's the matter? I forgot. Something I bought for Kathy. That costume. I left it on the train. Well, we can buy her another. you gone home? I just thought I'd look around. But didn't you miss your train? No, oh, I'm taking a later one. I won't have to change trains. Oh. Paula, I'd like you to meet Mr. Doria, a friend of mine. My nephew. How do you do? What time is it? 25 minutes after 7. Oh, fine. We have more than an hour. Would you like something, dear? A hot chocolate? Sure. You want me to wait for you in the restaurant? Do that, darling. I'll only be a moment. Good night, Mr. Uh... Good night. Giovanni, what could I do? Why did you call him? 
it was just that I, I was so surprised to see him. Anyway, I, I suppose we'd better face it. Everything seems to be working against us. You, you do see how it is, don't you, darling? No, I don't see. I, I wanted it to be different, but... <laughs> Goodbye, Giovanni. Understand, Paul. Believe me, Paul. He wouldn't have done it if I'd been here. Dirty coward. No, you mustn't think so, dear. Come on, let's go, Paul. Let's rest in here. In third class, Aunt Mary? What difference does that make? Feeling well, madam.
Aquí. Gastón. Aquí. Rostua. Un somisio. station down there. I think she has baby right here. <laughs> no, ma che dici? E ci dure quattro mesi. She pregnant. Only four months. Where do you come from? England, coal miner. No more work coal mine. I have come back Italy. We'd better take her to the first aid. adesso è permesso? si sente male sta male? Paul, you stay here and look after the children after them? yes, Paul ok Nothing serious. 
He says she must rest, sleep, but in the bed. She no see bed for three nights. But surely you could stay in a little hotel somewhere. Me, yes, but she no want. E hey, su, alzati, che non hai niente. Su, alzati. The bambini, signor, must keep money for the new baby. No, grazie, signora. You much kind already. Arrivederci. 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 I'll pray Madonna for you. But she good wife, good mother, always, always for family, never for her. Yes, she's wonderful. Goodbye. Take these. Quanto. Would you like something too? Yes, thanks. Tremila cent. Paul, Paul, I, I'd like you to go home now. Well, why can't I stay till you leave? You'll miss your dinner. But, well, anyway, Paul, I, I think I'd like to be alone. Oh, I love you, darling. You've been an angel. But I'm all right now, really. Okay, Aunt Mary. Tell your mother I'll write from Paris. And I'll write you too, dear. You will? You promise? Yes. If I tell you something, will you keep it secret? Of course. You can trust me. You know that. I'm going to ask your mother to let you visit us for Christmas. Oh, I love you. Goodbye, darling. Christmas. Gosh. <laughs> now run along. Goodbye, Aunt Mary. No. Goodbye, darling.
Paul, where's Maria? I don't know. What do you mean you don't? You don't know. You were together. That's right. Well, where did you leave him? I don't remember. Listen, Paul. I must see you. I, I must see you. Just please tell me where you left her. Please. I will tell you anything. There's nothing to forgive. I'm the one to be forgiven. 
I want you to be happy. That's all I want. I'll let you go. I'll never see you again. But I want you to be happy. Are you kind, John? Scarcely dawn. I couldn't wait to see you. To hear your voice. I wandered through the streets like a sleepwalk. It was raining a little. And I hoped the rain would wash it away. It was needy. Povero signori, vogliono scendere?
Nothing's going to happen. Look here. Want to see that? Look, sir, you can take me to the commissary, but couldn't we let this lady go? She has to catch a train. I am not the man to talk to. I was just passing. I only bought against him. These yokers, they come to the city thinking everyone is a thief. Che io mi porti in una città mi chiedono. Venturini, sta calmo. E che calma, che calma, più calma di così, io non lo so. Vedi che lei si è uno, eh? Più calmo di così, eh? Come deve fare? Non vale Castaldi, se mi ha detto che l'ha visto, a girarsi. Un momento, un momento, un momento. Scusate, che c'è? 
What is this, a zoo? Are we, are we a couple of monkeys or something? If there's anything to be settled, settle it with me. The train with the president is coming in. Then the commissioner will come back to the office. We are taking down the evidence. After that, it's up to the commissioner. Yep. Look, can you not get it through your head? This lady is going to miss her train. And can you not get it through your head that this is a crime? A crime? What do you mean, a crime? Uh, talk to the commissioner. What do you expect out of this? A medal? Giovanni. L'abbiamo sorpreso in atteggiamento sospetto in un vagone di terza classe di staccarlo sul tronchino 17. Eh, a che ora? Ma sarà... I don't know, I just... Giovanni, darling, if there's a scandal, well, it doesn't frighten me. Because I've made up my mind about something. Whatever happens, I'm going to tell Howard. It will hurt him terribly, but I... Centurini va a posto. Volevo vedere. Va a posto. Stand up. 
Por fin lo tuve. Comodino. Sit down, Mrs. Forbes. Why are you two at the station? This lady's here to catch a train. Where to? Paris. Are you separated from your husband? No. Any children? No. Yes, one. Does your husband know that you are in Rome? Yes. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Sir Commissario. Jose. Io ho sottoscritto ID Andrzej, Giulio Vallardi di Giuseppe, Chief Brackman at the Rome Station, testifying good faith the following. At 7.30 p.m., while on a tour of his station, I found on a third-class compartment of an empty car a man and a woman who were talking to one another. As they were not able to justify their presence in the car, I proceeded to arrest them and they brought them to this police station for the appropriate measures. Right, confirmed and signed by Valardi Giulio. A man and a woman who were talking to one another. The Breckman thought it over and uh, he mixed a little of water with the wine. Ah, uh, well. Then it is only a question of your fine. I'd be glad to pay anything. Oh, but this is a different matter. This is not a ticket. This is a formal charge. Tickets you can pay to a police agent. But on a formal charge, the penalty must be determined by the judge. There must be a trial. This lady is married. She has a child. If such a statement is made public, I think the consequences would be very bad for her. But all this work, we made such an effort. What time does your train leave? 8.30. Do you still plan to take it? Yes.
get your bag. I guess so. There isn't much time. No, there isn't very much time. We'll get a reservation for you on the train. Era una pelliccia della signora Forbes. L'avete annunciato che è l'altro palante. Ah. Presto. Documenti, per favore. Identification. Verificare, prego. Check. across the sea? Yes. Angoletto libero per Parigi. A single room, if you have it, please. I don't think so, madam. But I'll have to ask the other conductor. give you single, but another lady has consented to share a compartment with you, if you wish. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Your passport, please. You better get on. The train is about to leave. It's compartment number seven in the next car. Thank you. Grazie. Prego. 